So the big question is this, how do small businesses like yours, who feel like you're doing all the right things and going to all the right events, reach the federal buyer in a way that helps you win more contracts? That is the question, and this is the place to get your answers. My name is Neil McDonald. Welcome to the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. Okay, let's get started. When trying to do your homework on an agency and other BD activities, it'll help if you can talk with a focus of receptivity. I have a different video about focuses of receptivity you can watch, but for today, let's talk about the Coast Guard's small business specialist who can be your guide and informal mentor. Their role is basically to be a liaison between the internal buyers and small businesses like you. They wanna help you get in the door and they wanna help the buyer find qualified small businesses to work with. Today, I'll introduce you to 16 small business specialists who support the Coast Guard. First though, this content is brought to you by the GovCon Chamber of Commerce, the only organization dedicated to the success of all small businesses in the federal space, with members from Guam to the US Virgin Islands and every single state in between. Each year, roughly $125 billion is awarded to small businesses as prime contractors. Our vision is to double that number by helping small businesses truly understand the process for success. Small businesses are the backbone of America. By helping you succeed further in government contracting, we'll be helping American communities. My name is Neil McDonald, and I've been where you are now. I've been a small business owner for 20 years, building two successful firms selling to the federal government. I've won subcontracts with small and large prime contractors. I've won prime contracts with defense and civilian agencies. I've done things right and I've gotten things wrong. The one thing missing though for me then and you now is an easy to follow process that will lead to predictable success. That's my commitment to you. I'll provide the process. If you accept responsibility and don't blame others, you'll find you have the control to change your future. The United States Coast Guard is the principal federal agency responsible for maritime safety, security, and environmental stewardship in the U.S. ports and waterways. It's the only military service not under the Department of Defense. Rather, it falls under the Department of Homeland Security. There's so much to learn about the Coast Guard, and I'll use several posts to help you learn about them from a small business's perspective. In a previous post, I walked through the Coast Guard organization from a high level, introducing you to the Atlantic Area Command, the Pacific Area Command, the Deputy Commandant of Operations, the Deputy Commandant for Mission Support, and the Headquarter Direct Reports. Go watch this video before you call anyone I mentioned today. In this post, I wanna briefly introduce you to the small business specialists who support the Coast Guard buyers and acquisition personnel. As I introduce each person and mention the products and services they help procure, think about your own core competencies. While willing to be helpful, not all of these small business specialists will be a fit for what you sell. Keep in mind, everything I talk about comes from the U.S. Coast Guard's website, where you can dig further in. Let's get started with Sarah out of the Acquisition Directorate in Washington, D.C., who supports headquarters, and Wendy in New London, Connecticut, supporting the Coast Guard's Research and Development Center. The type of items procured are aircraft, vessels, and major electronics with an emphasis on oceanography and other marine sciences. You can also contact them if you have products and services related to pollution control and abatement or professional consultant, technical, engineering, or training services. The next three small business specialists focus on the needs of the C5I Service Center. C5I stands for Command, Control, Communications, Computers, cyber and intelligence. You have Jennifer out of Alexandria, Virginia, who supports the Telecommunication and Information Systems Command, or TISCOM, which serves, the Coast Guard's, serves as the Coast Guard's Center of Excellence for Enterprise Information Technology Infrastructure with three types of solution areas, enterprise networks, information systems, and organizational messaging. Then there's Rick out of Portsmouth, Virginia, who supports the Command, Control, and Communications Engineering Center, or C3CEN, which develops, builds, fields, trains, and supports advanced electronic command control navigation systems. 
Finally, for the C5I Service Center is Sharon in Kearneysville, West Virginia, supporting the Operations System Center, or OCS, procuring information technology support for the Enterprise Information Systems, Application Support Desk Services, Hardware, Network and Infrastructure Engineering, Software Development, and Operation and Maintenance Services for IT Business Applications. If you sell base operations and maintenance services, such as food services, janitorial services, utilities, or grounds and housing maintenance services, then you'll want to reach out to Susan, who covers base support and services for the Director of Logistics out of Alameda, California. The Shore Infrastructure Logistics Center covers construction-related products and services. If your core competencies are in this area, you have six small business specialists to contact. Gene covers major construction projects for units in Cleveland, Honolulu, Juneau, Miami, Norfolk, Oakland, Providence, and Seattle. Jim covers non-major construction projects as well as A&E services from the Civil Engineering Unit in Cleveland, Ohio. Lesia from the Civil Engineering Unit in Miami, Florida supports non-major construction such as repair and rehab projects and A&E services for the Coast Guard's 7th and 8th districts that are part of the Atlantic Area Command. Jeff is out of Oakland, California um, based civil engineering unit and supports lower dollar construction contracts in Oregon, Washington, and California. His colleague Tammy provides similar support but from the civil engineering unit in Honolulu, Hawaii. Finally, Pam supports procurements related to major construction projects as part of the Facilities Design Construction Center out of Norfolk, Virginia. There are two vacant positions as I post this in January 2021 that you want to follow up and see who fills them if construction is your specialty. One is for Shore Maintenance Command, SMC, in Seattle, Washington. The other supports major construction projects from the Civil Engineering Unit that's up in Seattle, Washington as well. I don't want to veer too far off topic, but if you're in the construction business, you have no excuse for not knowing about the Coast Guard and their construction projects. These folks here will be your guide. There are three small business specialists covering boats and the people who are on them, hence the name Surface Forces Logistics Center. SFLC provides depot level maintenance, engineering, supply, logistics, and information services for all Coast Guard surface forces that include over 200 cutters and over 1,800 small boats. Taking care of the Surface Forces Logistics Center is Sharon out of Baltimore, Maryland, her colleague Amy, who's in Oakland, California, and her colleague Mia in Norfolk, Virginia. You should know better than me that these folks are a fit for you if your core competencies have anything to do with water vessels. Some examples are blasting, rigging, welding, dry docks, or any other normal boatyard needs. In addition, they support the procurement of support services to augment program management, administrative, clerical, technical, financial management, and contract management. Visit the Coast Guard's website to learn more about the Surface Forces Logistics Center. I only rattled off about 25% of what they support. We'll wrap up with Patrick and Tony out of um, Elizabeth City, North Carolina, supporting the Aviation Logistics Center in, or ALC. ALC provides depot level maintenance, engineering, supply, procurement, information services and acquisition project management for over 200 Coast Guard aircraft. In FY 2019, they issued over 5,000 procurement actions. Items procured by LC include aircraft parts, ground service equipment, maintenance and repair, avionics, life support equipment, and ADP services. Together, these small business professionals cover any product or service you sell. Take a look at their website and then reach out to introduce yourself. Make sure you look at the forecast as well because they'll definitely ask if you've done so. Remember, government contracting is not a secret. It's just a process. While I provide the process from a small business's perspective, these small business professionals will teach you the Coast Guard process. The easiest way to thank them, by the way, is to follow up on their suggestions. If you found the content valuable, others will too. Please give it a thumbs up so they can find it. Comment below if you'd like a PDF of the U.S. Coast Guard organization or the small business specialist that I showed here. If you'd like to connect with me personally, do so on LinkedIn. We often do free training and uh, webinars and interview federal buyers. 
make sure to sign up for the GovCon Chamber's email list to be notified about these opportunities at www.govconchamber.com. Finally, please consider becoming a sustaining member of the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. I'm Neil McDonald, wishing you great success.